This challenge is like no other. As you see, we all know that GT Online is as buggy as all balls, and the pinnacle of this mushroom playing out of pain, it's going to be putting things on trailers. So, with me being the maskers that I am, let's find out if you can drive a boat across the map. And straight away, I regretted everything. As you see, like I said in the first statement, this is like no other challenge, because on a normal challenge, you can just go from A to B and complete the challenge there. However, you need a trailer, and you can't buy trailers in this game, so you have to go out and find the damn thing. And so, after molding my remaining brain cells off, I managed to finally get a boat on a trailer and get it to the port. Now I've got to get this back on the trailer in a sensible direction where it's also going to stay. Get out, get out, get out. I'm fucking pull forward before the boat decides to change its mind. Are you? I'm not happy. Now, apparently for this run, God himself was looking down at me because the trailer spawned in ever so quick and the first proper run finally began. Yes. Yes. Progress. Yes, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. So we fucking help. We almost failed. I hit a light. Give it power. Give it power. Give it power. Give it power. Okay. I feel like I've got to give it power at literally every hill. Because if it starts sliding backwards, I feel like the boat's going to start doing the same thing and just slide away. Okay. Well, I've got to turn left where there's some people. So this is going to be a prep. Or I feel like... No! Now, honestly, this is no bother. This is the best case scenario for a failure because we still have the trailer. So we can just go back and put the boat back on. It's gone. The, the trailer despawned. What? I... <laughs> Why? What the fuck? What happened? But you know what? Fine. Fine. I'll just play Elden Ring. So after I had cried a little bit and played some more Elden Ring, I made my life just a little bit easier and got myself a custom truck. This is my challenge, not yours. Now getting this truck actually made my life a lot easier in another way. Or I just I, I I just got lucky and the trailer spawned in really quickly. But I'm just gonna put it down to the truck, okay? And so after this, I managed to make my way downtown and apparently back in 20 fucking 12 and got it down to the docks where here there was just there was just a slight problem. All right, time to get some speed going up the hill. Wait a minute, that person just left and there's barely anyone on my. <laughs> so the next day, I tried to just do as many experiments as possible to try and make this easier. I tried to see if you could spawn in the trailer. No. Okay, maybe increase the chance of the vehicle spawning with a trailer. Yes, but the only trailer that will spawn in is the one you don't fucking want. Right, right, fine. Use the helicopter and cover as much ground as possible. Yeah, uh, yeah, fuck this game. So this attempt began, can we say, a little rocky? Now the tricky part, the real tricky part. Get up the hill, and we're good. We're all right, we're sorted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's avoid the helicopters. Let's avoid the helicopters, for the love of God. And as well as this, not two seconds after leaving the damn port, I almost committed non-living. And... Don't you dare! Oh, oh mama lama. Oh, mama llama. But little did I know that there was a real foe ahead. As I approached, they just glared at me. But thankfully, all the dust was settled after the friendly 101 honk. Now, after this other guy's mate, George, became a little bit curious and just wanted to follow me, they soon finally left me alone. And I managed to make it downhill, uphill, and really downhill. What could go wrong? Well, shockingly, it was the original challenge I thought of because the trailer was getting very, very close to the ground. And it became even worse when I went on hills. Who would have thunk it? The original challenge I thought of 
was going to be the challenge. So I had two options. Go slow and pray the trailer wouldn't freak out. And also I wouldn't stop on up hills. Or go quick and pray that the trailer wouldn't freak out. So you can see I had plenty of options to pick from. I went for the third option. Both. As if I were to go fast up hills, but a moderate speed on the flats, and really fuck all speed at all on downhills, that was the perfect magnifique area to wear the trailer, and the game was just happy. I got to the destination where I had to finally leave the main road and go on the back roads. Now, there is a reason I didn't go for the back roads up the middle of the map. As turning, when you do that, you're basically asking to die. And so, with all considering my whole life, or for the content, I, I had to choose my life. For now, anyways, for now. Now for the final part, which I didn't think of. Where the fuck am I actually going to drive this onto the beach? I thought there was going to be like a little slip road that would go down. Nope, absolutely nothing. Just good luck. Oh, no. I didn't think this through. Oh, okay. Gotta take this nice and easy. Don't stop, please. Don't stop. That's gonna be a massive pain in the ass. Propeller is getting very much close to the ground now. Fuck it, we're going down here. Okay. okay, just let gravity take you. Just let gravity take you. No acceleration is needed. Just let gravity. Oh, we're on the beach. We're on the beach. Okay. Just need to turn around, reverse, and get it in the water. Please. Please, this is the last step. If we're going to drive in as close to the water as possible, then pull a quick turn. All right, then stop. Start reversing. Yes. 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 Let's go. Full send it. Full send it. Full send it. Yes. Fucking get in! <gasps> My heart rate is about 200 beats a minute now. I'm gonna have a heart attack and go to bed! And so after this, finally it was complete. It was lights up for me, and, and by that I mean some more Elden Ring, but still it was a challenge complete. And I hope you enjoyed it enough to go check out another video. And if you do that, I hope you all have a fan fucking fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.